Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Super scary, just got out of the shower, but I wanted to just kind of share with you my um, nighttime routine. Um, my face right now is super dry, um, but I just use this great, it's a microderm face wash from Philosophy that I love. Um, it exfoliates really great. I feel like it gets all my dead skin cells off. So what I usually do after I get out of the shower with that is I follow up with my Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I've been using this eye cream for 15 years now. Um, and I've tried so many different kinds, but I always come back to it because I feel like it doesn't leave me with a greasy residue. Um, and it just kind of gives me a little bit of hydration that I need. So I'm just going to kind of show you, you just need a tiny little bit. Um, you just want to kind of put like right underneath your eye area. So you want to kind of lightly pat in and all the way up. You don't want to get too close to the lash line because it is creamy and it does travel. So when you get too high up. Um, you can get it into the eye area. So, just doing a little bit here. Um, if you want something a little bit um, more tightening, you could use like Estee Lauder has that great night repair for eye. Bobby's got her um, advanced um, night repair for eye. I know a lot of people love their Dayton Fields eye stuff. Um, so that's all that I do just for my eye area. Um, and then my next thing that I love is Bobby's Extra Face Oil. This is her little tiny travel kit, but it's my fave. So what I just do is take a little dropper full here. And I'm just going to um, take a few drops, put it in my hand here. And you just want to kind of warm it up into your hands. And what I like to do is just kind of lightly press it into my skin. And it smells so good. I love this. And I'm just kind of lightly press and rub, and you can bring it down to your neck and your decolletage area if you want to. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit something more, or if you don't like oils, I also have Bobby's Hydrating Eye Cream that I use, and this is great because it doesn't have sunscreen, so you could use it daytime or nighttime. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of that on my finger here, and I'm also going to warm it up. I'm just kind of always start around my cheek area, and then I'm just kind of lightly press it into my skin. Um, it's what I really kind of learned with Clarins, working with them. Always warm your products up first, because you're fingers you kind of just want to lightly disperse your products if you take a big glob out of your jar and then you just put it in one place then you really don't get the even distribution of it so you just want to kind of warm it up lightly press it and then lightly pat it into the rest of your skin so now that I probably horrified all of you that will watch this later because nobody's watching right now which is totally fine because I didn't tell anybody I was coming on here because I look really scary so that's my nighttime routine all of uh you know my freckles you guys can see no filter but i feel like you know i'll be 41 in a day so i don't think my skin's too bad my pores aren't large um you know i've been pretty blessed with um not having really bad acne or anything i did have some acne issues when i was going through chemo but right uh, right now other than that um i am starting to get you know a little bit of fine lines right here but um you can see I don't really have many eyebrows, so uh, maybe tomorrow morning I will do um, how to draw on some brows. And thanks for watching if you guys tune in later, and have a good night. I'm also going to follow up with my lash boost. I do have that from Rodan and Fields, um, and I do feel like it's helped my lashes grow a little bit, but I don't like putting that on too early because then I feel like I can't um, watch TV or do anything and the Grammys are on, so getting the kids to bed so I can relax and watch some people sing. So have a great night. Thanks.